Welcome to our new video. This is the Philips Series 7000. We reviewed this shaver for you, and you'll find everything you need to know in this video. Let's go. Before we get to the practical test, let's first give you an overview of the product in our Features and Technology section. The Series 7000 is a so-called rotary shaver. As the name suggests, it has a number of rotating blades, three to be exact. These blades are built into movable plates and are also flexible within themselves. Together with the shaving head, which is flexible as well, the shaver can follow the contours of the face well. The shaver can be used for both dry and wet shaving and is waterproof so that it can also be used in the shower. A precision trimmer is integrated into the device for fine trimming or pre-trimming. This can be folded out as required and is simply pushed back into its original position when the job is done. Compared to other shavers on the market, the rechargeable battery delivers a pretty decent performance. 60 minutes of shaving time is available on a full charge. It then takes just as long, so 60 minutes, to fully recharge the battery. If you're running low, the shaver also has a quick charge function. This means you can charge it for five minutes in order to get enough power to complete a short shaving cycle. You can keep track of the battery status via the display, which shows three levels so that you can estimate when the device needs to be recharged again. Unfortunately, there is no mains operation. Accordingly, the shaver will not work when it is in charging mode. To prevent the battery from discharging accidentally, the device also has a key lock. Simply press and hold the on button for a few seconds in order to activate the locking mechanism. As a shaver from the Series 7000, Philips already has a few features. For example, a friction-free coating called Skin Glide, which is supposed to reduce possible skin irritation. A so-called Power Adapt sensor is also supposed to measure the hair density and automatically adjust the cutting performance accordingly. Last but not least, the device also brings us into the age of cell phones. We can pair the shaver with the Philips Groom Tribe app, which offers us a few more options, but we'll go into a little more detail later. As far as the scope of delivery is concerned, the Series 7000 comes with a little more. In addition to the power adapter and cleaning brush, a charging station and a high-quality travel case are also included. There is also a cordless cleaning station and a cartridge with cleaning fluid as a special bonus. By the way, you can find all the links in the description below the video. You will find the product there as well, of course. So, let's get into detail now. We took a closer look at the shaver. There's nothing to complain about in terms of workmanship. All parts fit neatly together and make a well-made impression. With Philips shavers in particular, it has to be said that the devices look a little more fragile than the competitor devices from Braun, but in the end, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Otherwise, the Series 7000 has a slim handle, which means that the shaver fits comfortably and securely in the hand. In terms of operation and handling, the shaver benefits from the fact that the blades and head are movable. As a result, it follows the contours of the face well. This is a fundamental advantage of rotary shavers, which is why they work particularly well on angled areas, such as the chin. The disadvantage, on the other hand, is that rotary shavers are somewhat more difficult to use than foil shavers. Why? Because in order to use a rotary shaver effectively, you have to shave using a special technique in which you move over the skin in small circular movements. You do get used to this technique over time, but it's not always that easy to do and can be a bit tiring. Apart from that, there's not much to consider while operating the device. Everything works simply and intuitively. For those who still find the circular movements a little annoying to deal with, the Series 7000 comes with a little helpful gimmick. The shaver has a motion control display. This tells the user whether they are making the right movements. If this display is not enough, you can also try the Groom Tribe app. Here you have the option of starting a guided shave, which shows you even more precisely whether you are making the right movements. You can also see how many cleaning cycles the cleaning station has left, work with the app to avoid skin irritation and get tips on different beard styles. The style wardrobe is quite funny, allowing you to get an impression of which beard style suits you best. All in all, the app is a nice extra, but in the end, we don't think it's that essential for your daily routine. The integrated precision trimmer, on the other hand, is. In our opinion, it also does its job very well. It's a shame that it can only be used from above. If you approach it from below, the trimmer simply folds away and can therefore only be used to a limited extent. We would have liked it better if the trimmer could be fixed in all directions when folded out. A great strength of the Series 7000 is that it is very comfortable to work with. At 198 grams, it is mid-ranged in terms of weight, 
but there is hardly any vibration in the handpiece and the blades get at best lukewarm on the skin after two to two and a half minutes of shaving. At around 55 decibels, the shaver is also one of the quietest we reviewed and is okay in terms of its noise. Although it sounds quite high pitched, it is otherwise round and easy to get along with. And now let's see what our colleague Chris has to say. He put the Philips 7000 to the test for us in regards to the everyday use and gathered a lot of experience in the process. Yes, I've been testing dozens of different razors for weeks now and came to one important conclusion. And this basically applies to all the razors I've tested. Namely, don't believe the advertising. The advertising suggests that you basically go over it once and all the hair is gone. This is simply not the case. Regardless of whether you have a razor for 50 or one for several hundred bucks. So what exactly does that mean? Basically, there are differences between the individual razors in the sense of one shaves a little better and the other shaves a little worse. But they all have the same basic problem. That is, that they do shave, but in certain places, such as the neck, a few hairs may remain. I would therefore recommend, and this applies to all devices, shave at relatively short intervals. In other words, every day or at least every two days. And if you can't or don't want to do this, then pre-trim your beard at least once and then just do the finishing touches with the razor. So, let's get down to the Philips 7000 and I'll go through the points with you. First point, the Philips 7000 feels super comfortable on the skin, better than the Braun devices and I would say in the same league as its little brother, the Series 5000. So all in all, you can say that this is one of the most comfortable shaves you can get. Point two, and as you can already see, the blades are embedded in small plates and the plates are a bit protruding at the bottom. As a result, I can't really see what I'm doing when I stand in front of the mirror and try to shave. That's a bit of a shame. It could be better, but oh well. All in all, this is only a minor downer. The third point is the feeling of safety, which I think is very good with this device. At no time did I have the feeling that I could cut myself with it or hurt myself in any other way. I have to say that it did tug once or twice, but it was not a big deal in the end. I took a liking to the device in terms of skin irritation, but I was quite satisfied with all other Philips products too. Don't get me wrong, if I go over it 20 times, my face will glow red like the sun at dawn. But the crucial point is that the Philips devices somehow have a mechanism that reduces skin irritation a little. It is noticeable, and I felt the difference. As far as the shaving result is concerned, I would have hoped for a bit more, even though it's actually quite good. It's a good mid-range shaver, not yet as good as the higher-end Braun devices, but in itself, quite good in the end. The point is that I would have liked it to stand out a bit more from its little brother, the Series 5000. There was practically no difference in regards to the shaving performance of the 5000 and the 7000. How about wet shaving? Yes, that's another point that I can answer across all devices because I don't think there were any major differences between the individual shavers. What I can say is, yes, you can do it and yes, it works. But you also have to ask yourself, does it make any sense at all? And that's the big question in my opinion. Personally, I think that if I'm going to put some shaving cream on my face anyway, then I might as well use a wet razor and end up with a better result than with an electric one. However, there is an advantage for all those who like to shave in the shower. You don't cut yourself as quickly. I don't want to give the impression that you can't cut yourself with it, but not as quickly as with a wet razor. Of course, this is especially advantageous when you're shaving in the shower and don't have a mirror available. And as a reminder, you can find the link to the product in the description below the video. And if the video was helpful to you, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. To ensure that the shaver can do its job for as long as possible, it is of course important to clean it regularly. To do this, simply press the small button on the front. The shaving head pops up and you have the option of carefully tapping it out and then rinsing it under running water. Basically, this is all easy and no problem. On the other hand, we find that the design is somewhat prone to breakage, 
and that tapping out the clipper with the shaving element folded out like that doesn't work so well in the end. Admittedly, you can pull off the shaving element, but still, we wonder how long this joint will hold. Of course, you can also use the supplied cleaning station for cleaning. Simply insert the cleaning cartridge, close the lid, place the shaver into it, and switch it on. Cleaning then takes about a minute and the shaver is fresh again. Don't forget to let the shaver dry thoroughly afterwards. Depending on how often you use it, the cartridge lasts between one and three months, which can also be tracked via a small display. However, it should be noted that you don't necessarily need a cleaning station. Cleaning by hand also works very well. Nevertheless, the station is a nice feature and leaves a good impression. It is a bit of a shame that the Philips cleaning stations are kept quite simple. While the stations on Braun appliances offer other functions in addition to cleaning, such as charging the shaver, Philips has only included the core function. On the other hand, Philips offers a cordless use and the system is relatively uncomplicated. Let's move on to the blades and, as is the case with blades, they eventually become blunt. The manufacturer therefore recommends changing the blade system every 24 months. Until then, however, you should actually have some peace of mind. The built-in steel precision blades are self-sharpening and thus counteract wear and tear. Let's come to the conclusion. With the Philips Series 7000, you get a shaver in the mid to upper price range that does justice to this classification in most regards. A mains operation would have been nice and the slightly protruding shaving head sometimes blocks the view a little. Otherwise, however, the performance is good for a rotary shaver, including the shaving result. It feels comfortable on the skin, performs well in terms of skin irritation, and, with the app and the cleaning station, also comes with a few features that you would expect in this price range. If you feel comfortable with rotary shavers, the Series 7000 certainly proves to be a good choice. So we checked out this shaver for you. If you are interested in the product, take a look at the description below the video. You'll find all the links there. Otherwise, stay tuned. Our end card will provide a few interesting suggestions for you.